objects in the CMS are displayed in lists. If you select the folder in the navigation section, list of all pages, um, files, images, as well as subfolders contained in this folder will be displayed. Folders serve for clear management of object and are also often a basis of a website navigation structure, especially in respect to the contact folder and also event folder. As you can see in your CMS, you will find number of a predefined folders. These are serving a certain purpose and uh, it is important to keep this folder structure as it is. However, you are also free to add on a new folders if you feel that you need some extra folders that you might find useful. It is uh, recommended to keep the navigation section of the CMS rather light and uh, you will definitely appreciate that with the time when more and more content will be uploaded to your website. So having a good logical and clear structure will make your work much easier when it comes to looking for a certain information and navigating yourself through the CMS. Now let's have a look at the predefined folder structure you see in the CMS. A folder archive automatically stores past events which are created by using an event page template and there is no need of any action from your side when it comes to their archiving. Therefore, there basically there is not much for you to do with the archive folder, but please leave it intact. Then there is a contact folder. Contact folder already contains a set of a predefined subfolders, which are basically mirroring a different function within the project. They are related as well as the contact folder to the contact tag in the homepage. Documents folder serves as a repository of all finalized deliverables of the projects. And please do remember to only upload final documents uh, onto your homepage. Events folder serves as a repository of all event pages, pages which are actually linked to the event overview tag on your homepage and therefore also connected to the event listing on the program website. Images folder is a repository of all images and news folder should serve as the repository of all your news pages. As already mentioned, each of these folders can have an arbitrary number of subfolders. So in case you want to create additional folder, mm. it is very simple to do by simply clicking on plus folder and naming it. You don't need to worry about directory. This is already pre-selected. And if you wish, you can also uh, put in some description here. As you can see, my new folder already appears in the navigation section. And now I have a few options how to handle the folder. If I decide that I don't like the name of my folder, I simply need to go to properties and change its name. Once you have done that, remember to save changes. You also have an option of moving this folder by simply clicking on move and selecting respective folder where you want this folder to be moved to. So let's say that we want to move it into the news folder. As you can see, the subfolder folder has become a subfolder and it is now displayed within the news folder. If you wish to delete the folder, simply click on delete and the folder is gone. Once you delete the folder, all objects within the folder will be deleted with that. Folders in the CMS appear in the alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. This does not, however, need to reflect it, be reflected the same way on the front end. This is especially relevant to the con contacts folder. As you can see on the screen, the alphabetical order of the subfolders uh, is visible here. But if you decide that you want to show the lead partner on the top of the listing and the communication manager further down, uh, it is very easy to do. What you have to do is come to the context menu of each folder click on the properties and then object properties. 
Here you will find few options. You don't need to worry about custom header image and a start page. It is the sorting which is relevant. And here what is important is just to give a respective number to the folder. When giving folder sort order numbers, we also recommend to count by tens, like 10, 20, 30. Uh, I am here counting in uh, single numbers, uh, simply because I know that the number of subfolders, which is in the contact folder, is definite. So I am not going to be added, adding anything on. But the reason why we recommend this uh, counting in tens is that in case you decide that you need a another subfolder, to be put into your navigation structure and into the certain order, you will have to resort all of the folders. If you give yourself 10 spaces between each subfolder, you can basically easily fit in and nine subfolders within the actual folder structure which you already have. As you can see that even though I have changed the sort order number of respective subfolders, their listing is still in alphabetical order. But don't worry, the system recognizes that there was a resorting. And on the home page, once you link this folder to the content tag, structure will appear the way you want it. So let's have a look on the front end of the website. As you can see, now we have a lead partner in the first place, followed by project manager, finance manager and communication manager.